welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine, also known as the Tiger Shark Mermaid, and in today's video, I'm going to be trying out mermaid yoga. Now to start off, I found this video on YouTube while searching up new yoga practices because since I've been stuck inside for a very long time, I decided to actually do some workouts or test some new workouts that I could do with my mermaid tail besides swimming. So the individual that runs this practice, her name is Joyce Scola, and I will put a link to her YouTube video down below if you want to try this practice out as well, but I will be doing a review at the end of this practice. So this practice says that it is a strength core building kind of yoga. So it's going to be working majority of this part of my body, which I'm kind of excited because that is the place that I need the most strength, especially for a professional mermaid where you're swimming all the time. You kind of need very strong core muscles to be able to do the mermaid swim because most of the time that is the main swim that you are going to be doing. And for this video, I'm also going to be adding a review. Now I'm going to be doing this review based on many yoga practices that I have done without my fin. So this is going to be really interesting to be able to compare other yoga practices that I have done on YouTube and throughout some of my college career. I have taken a bunch of yoga classes and fitness courses. So it's going to be very interesting to see how doing yoga in a mermaid tail compares to doing yoga without a mermaid tail. So for this practice, I will be rating it on three different categories. First being strength, how well is this practice compared with strength training yoga? Another, my second thing I will be comparing this with is flexibility. And I will be comparing this as like how flexible you need to be or how this practice is going to help you with flexibility. And my third category is going to be other where I say my own opinion and how well I think this compares to other different yoga practices. Alright, so let's get started. thing I forgot to mention is this practice video is around 12 minutes and 37 seconds.
finish the practice and I'm going to start off by giving my review on the strength. So for the strength, I think that this was a pretty good one for strength. It did a lot of core, mostly core for all the exercises that she had in her practice or all the different poses and yoga positions she had were all engaging the core. So strength wise, I believe that it focused on the core majority. So next we're going to go on flexibility. So for this practice, I don't think you need to be super flexible. This is a very good beginner practice. The only time I really had any struggle was in the beginning when I was like reaching for my fin because the end of my tail is a little longer than where my feet would be. So I tried to reach a little further and I'm a little rusty with that. Not so flexible in that area, but that's okay. So next we're going to talk about other. So other practices that I've done have been a lot longer, have been like 30 plus minutes. So I believe this one in my terms, if I were to continue doing this, I would probably do this as either a warm up or if I were doing mermaid swims or something to like refresh my muscles. I don't feel like this is a very long practice that you could do every morning and night. I believe this is something that it's a good little warm up or it's a good stretcher in the morning if you need a good stretch to stretch your fins or if you're going to be doing a mermaid performance and you just need that little extra stretch. I believe that this one is a good thing to help you engage your core, help you get a little stretched out and also it is very good practicing this in your tail so that way you can get more comfortable in your tail. Another thing I noticed with this is that you can switch up your tail mono fin. So if you're someone who wants a little heavier or wants like, or is really strong in their legs and core and everything and their body is like very, they can handle like the strength and the, and the weight, then you could probably do this in a full on silicone tail, but you also could do it in like a small mono fin or a very light mono fin if you're just starting out. The one I have on here is Mer Taylor's Fantasy Fin and I believe it weighs around like eight pounds. So I have an extra eight pounds added on for my exercise, which is really nice. And that's what I really enjoyed about this exercise is that you could actually add some weight and you can actually increase like the difficultness or you could like if you're someone who's not so strong or someone who wants to work up their strength, having a lighter monofin would probably be a better idea than going for a giant monofin that's like super heavy. Especially in her practice when she was having the, what's it called? The Superman one where you had to like extend your whole body out, you're laying on your belly and you're going to be lifting your feet and your upper body so that you get that nice core workout. Having like this monofin, since it was like eight pounds, it kind of did like my legs were a little shaky. But overall, I think this is a very good exercise, especially for warm ups. Or if you just wanted to get into yoga practice with your tail or you wanted to experiment with different things, I would suggest trying out her video just for fun. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I'll probably do it again a couple times, especially for warm ups. I love this video for warm ups. I will be putting the link down below if you would like to try it out yourself. And if you do try it out yourself, you can always comment on your experience in the comment section below. And if you like the videos I'm doing or you want to see more videos, please splash the like button and I'll make sure to create more mermaid content. With that, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.